Since the beginning of time, mankind has been forced to compete for survival. This spirit of competition has reached the pinnacle in the relationship of two best friends who battle against each other. Why? Glory for the winner. Humiliation for the loser. This is Kenny versus Spenny. Hello, children. I love you. This week, the competition is who is the most sane? We're going to a bunch of therapists, psychologists, whoever they think is the most sane or normal wins. How do you feel about winning? I feel like I'm going to win. I feel like, uh, <laughs> as usual, your overconfidence is going oh to hurt you. He is the most insane, twisted, delusional, crazy. You are like, you have so many problems, man. You know what? He's just going on and on and on. He's got nothing to do with reality. Now he's going to do this to make me look a fight. What a oh. wuss. What a wuss. He's a wuss. I'm going to kill him. Yeah, this is normal, Kenny. This is normal behavior. This is a good way to prove that you're normal by attacking me. That's really Anyways, good. Anyways, this is the who is more sane episode. He's, whoever the he's doctors, not. Whoever's the doctors think is more normal Let's go. wins. Yeah, he's normal. Okay, let's just compete. Spanny! List of Spanny's insane personality traits. You have a very addictive personality. I do. Okay. You're very gullible. Less than I used to be, and I am gullible. Yes, extremely because I'm trusting. You're paranoid. I can have paranoid tendencies, I admit that. You're a pornography addict, you're a sex I don't, addict. I haven't rented porn. Women have come up to me numerous times and said your friend's disgusting. I don't believe that, I don't believe that. It's true. I don't believe All these things to, you're saying, they're, they're not true, and they're they certainly are, they not are totally true. They're totally, yeah, they are. And he is so vain, look at his arms. He had his... Do you have a medical degree? Take your thing off. You know, I look guarantee this, you. Look, he had his arms laser electrolysis. Arms and shoulders. And shoulders electrolysis. Right, so I don't look like you. Yeah, because I like that who is, I am. I don't like that. I like what God gave me. I can there. take my shirt off for a girl and oh, I'm not scared. I don't he have to go to talk for now. a laser is, electrolysis because I'm not... Loco. Okay. I'm not go can I say like something? Spenny. I'm very proud of the work that you've done on yourself, Spenny. Boy, very, be a little more patriotic. pissed off he is at me, the more he will obsess about me in the therapy sessions. So I'm intentionally like being grumpy and yelling at him and starting fights. The reality is I fear that my uh, friend Kenny is a uh, clinical narcissist. First of all, it is a personality disorder. That's not good. There are nine symptoms of this uh, disorder. Uh, you only need three or four of these to be uh, diagnosed as a clinical narcissist. Uh, he has all nine of them, so he exaggerates everything. He is obsessed with being seen with beautiful women. He loves meeting people that are high status or special celebrities. He surrounds himself with people that look up to him and think he's a god. He's a prince, you know, he's a special person. He doesn't have to line up like all the other sheep in the world. His arrogance comes out so clearly in almost everything that he does. And um, I am going to expose him for the narcissist that he is. This is Spenny's decaf. I'm going to dump out his decaf. I'm just gonna put in some regular coffee. And uh, this should wind him up a little bit for uh, the therapy session. I can't see a difference. I think it'll be okay. My name is uh, Dr. Sam Clarich. I'm a practicing psychologist, been practicing for actually almost about 30 years. I'm gonna look forward to speaking with, with Kenny and Spenny to find out really what's going on between the two of them. Dr. Clarich? Hi, Spencer. Hi, Spencer. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you have a, um, a washroom? Or a yeah, room? sure do. My heart is racing. I can't even believe this. I can't believe how nervous I am. Okay. He has a litany of, of issues uh, that, uh, about me, some of which are completely defamatory. Uh, says I'm a chronic masturbator. I think I 
I think I, I'm healthy, and he, he thinks that I have all these problems with women. I think he's more of a cheater ah. and more of a scam artist. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to slip you some cash. I don't think it would work with you, but... Now that we've got a bit of an understanding of your impression of Kenny's values, probably the next step is to look at some of these drawings. Good, Kenny. I'm in a session, Kenny. We're in session now. <laughs> sorry about You're that. You're next. I'm so sorry to No, that, that's okay. And what's the first thing that comes to mind? Highway. It kind of just looks like an open hot dog bun. A shark's jaw that's eaten the dog. That's me after eating the hot dog. I'm drawing a blank right now. And I don't know why, but hockey. That's a frog on a lily pad. An owl. An owl. All right. That's kind of a devilish Halloween mask. Uh-huh. I see a totem pole. It looks like somebody's sticking out their tongue. A clown. That is Spencer's penis after our trip to Amsterdam. Uh. <laughs> Spenny, I think you're more introspective. You search inside you. Kenny, you're more outside in the world out there. Spenny, I mean, you were concerned about his deviousness, yet you seem to be the more devious one. Obviously, uh, Kenny has made me think through telling me a litany of things about myself that he was supposedly going to tell you. It's clear that this was a strategy he played. And uh, so there was, there's been there's some dirty play. Okay. I think where Kenny does win is the fact that he spent less time being worried about Spenny than Spenny did about Kenny. All right. Thank you, doctor. All right. The competition Take continues. That's right. Where Kenny does also win is the fact that he wasn't devious in any way, whereas Spenny was, although Spenny kept claiming that Kenny was more devious than he was. So far, I'm one up. Now Spenny's starting to get freaked out and paranoid and neurotic. Lose again. I'm sick of losing every time. We'll get him. We'll get him. It's early. Now we're going to some new age therapist. But first, meeting Spenny for lunch, and I am going to get him so mad and frustrated with me. You're not taking the bread. I'm You're not taking the bread. Here and I'm fine. I'll take this stuff. I'll take this stuff. You're way more insane than I am, Spenny. You're a dysfunctional person, Spenny. There's people eating here. Would you be quiet, please? That's really sane. You got I'm tossed out of this restaurant. I have a beer, you're disturbing, Spenny. You're disturbing people. Just shut up. This isn't... You scared, Spenny? You scared about being less sane than I am, man? Are you scared? You're not throwing a knife. 